What's up everybody? Today I've been working on the spider enemy and I'm going to continue working on this enemy. So this is really important to get working because I need to build a whole AI system and set up the animations correctly and also set up the attacks correctly. So the spider needs to be able to attack the player and also the player needs to be able to punch and hit the spider. So if you look here, this needs to have some effect on the spider. Oh yeah, and by the way, I found out something cool that I didn't realize was in the game. If I crouch, the camera will go down like this. So it's in my own game and I never even knew it. Well, that's because I took that part of the script from the 2D game kit, which comes with some default features. So as we continue working on this game, I'm sure there will be other surprising uh, additions that I don't even know about. All right, let's continue working on the spider. After a few hours of work and following some tutorials from famous people such as Brackies, I was able to get a fully working AI for my spider here. As you can see, he can follow me just fine and yeah, he can turn around, start coming after me, and if I'm above him, he'll actually jump. So actually, yeah, there were a lot of changes I had to make to the uh, sort of code that I worked with through the tutorial series and I ended up making my own script, which I'll show you right here. So yeah, you have all kinds of different uh, variables that you can adjust here, such as like the jump modifier, the activate distance, 
and you can en enable or disable anything and also something th some things for the physics. So what the activate distance does is if I get far enough away from the spider, he actually will no longer uh, be moving. He'll basically be deactivated because the whole thing here is is that the A star algorithm that we're using can actually slow things down a little bit because you have to keep on using it over and over again and I'll just enable this here so you can see here's the actual graph of where the spider is and where he's headed towards so all of these squares are searchable on the space in this game here which actually if the character is like super far away so if I was like over here then every single time that the spider updates he has to check a ton of different squares in order to get to me so we actually don't need to worry about that though since if the character is off screen it doesn't matter we want him to stop moving anyway so yeah that's how that works and also there's a few other things so for example the um uh jump check offset no it's the jump node height requirement I'll, I'll move it I'm, and I'm gonna fix this up a little bit because it's kind of messy right now but the idea is I'll go back to the game and show you after I disable this and never mind I just fell down okay let's restart this but the idea is if the node is a certain height then the spider will jump and it works really perfectly because he has a path right here that he needs to follow to get to me and we don't want him jumping so much just randomly if he's standing over here which is part of the reason that I actually uh, made the foot as the location that the spider tracks towards because if it's his head or something then the spider will start jumping a lot more which I don't want I only really want him to jump when he needs to but if I lower that value then that means there's more of an angle that the spider will actually jump at instead of right now it's 0.8 I think so as long as it's sort of like 80 percent I don't know it's coming from a normalized vector so it's a little bit more complicated than that but yeah the whole point is that when you adjust that you can make him more likely to jump or less likely to jump awesome Anyways, I'll continue working on making it so you can actually hit the spider, and the spider can actually damage you as well.
As you could see in the time lapse, I set up a simple animation system for our spider here, which just has three different triggers depending on what's going on. And yeah, the spider now works completely. There are still a few things that I want to add to make it even more interesting, but for now it's the basics. They're all set up, except the enemy actually being able to do damage to me. That will come in the future. And you can see there that after a while, the enemy that is killed will just disappear. So, yeah. We now have spiders in this game. Alright, thank you so much for watching. And, <laughs> yeah, look at all those spiders. And yeah, we got new issues that we'll have to fix in the future, but yeah, that'll be it for today. Thank you.